hello friends welcome back to my channel so before i start this tutorial i want to thank all of you who are who are keep continuing to support me so thank you so much so those who has not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like the video share and comment so if you have looked into my channel we have uh, different kind of tutorials we have gone through splunk tutorials we have tutorials on docker we have tutorials on devops jenkins and you know we have also tutorial on uh, iot based uh, projects on arduino and raspberry pi so if you're interested please go through it so this tutorial i'm going to talk about ansible so from this tutorial we are going to start together a learning on ansible so if you don't know what is ansible so ansible is an open source configuration and application deployment tool so when you are working on DevOps uh, and Docker's and you know the new technologies, you will be also most probably using Ansible as well to uh, do a lot of configuration changes and also deploy some of things uh, as using Ansible. So some of the benefits of Ansible is that it does not need any agents on the host machine to communicate. So we'll see more about this in the upcoming tutorials how we can do SSH. Uh, configurations so that Ansible can communicate those host machines. So an Ansible can be used to communicate with both Windows and Unix machines. So uh, mostly we are using Ansible to send configurations for uh, Linux based machines but it can be also used for Windows as well. Okay. So today in this tutorial specifically what we are going to do is we are going to see how easily you can set up Ansible on a CentOS or Ubuntu machine. So we will install Ansible with some command okay, and we will also go through some of the configuration files in Ansible so you can see which file is used for which configurations. Okay. So just to give some a brief uh, how the architecture works like if you have an Ansible machine where you use to control other host uh, you know how you do it like you have host one two three different host which you want to send some configurations from your Ansible machines so you have some configuration file where you need to specify these host details there which uh, account you want to connect or you know how you want to uh, which are the host IP address so those kind of configurations you have to do in the Ansible machine and you write a playbook where you can uh, do all the setup what you want to do on those uh, host okay. so we'll see more about this in the upcoming uh, tutorials so again I want to request if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe like the video share and comment so this is uh, my CentOS machine where I don't have Ansible in installed so how you check it if I go to Ansible version it says Ansible command not found so that means Ansible is not installed on my machine so since this is a CentOS machine how you can install it so you can probably install it with just some yum command so it's a simple installation yum install Ansible so you, you can run this so it can uh, install Ansible from the yum repository but one of the recommended way to do is using pip install so i will do the pip install first okay? so that is the recommended way by uh, ansible uh, standard procedure so you can do pip install or you want to you can do it and yum install as well so let me do the pip install ansible okay so the pip command is not there so we will have to install pip first Okay, so to install pip, you can run this command sudo yum install epl release. Okay, let me run this first. You may be asking, uh, you know, you can probably do the yum install ansible, that's simple. So, yes, we can do that as well. But when I was going through all the documentation for ansible and even from the Red Hat instructions, they say they prefer the way as uh, pip install ansible. But I think yum install is. Uh, pretty simple you can just install yum install ansible which will install your ansible on this machine so let's wait for a pip to be installed okay so it's already the latest version so let me install yum install python pip OK, 
okay that is done let me clear out the screen okay now if you go to the command pip version you will be able to see the version number for python so let me clear out this then we'll install pip install ansible so it's uh, connecting to Ansible and it's downloading the files. So let's wait for the installation to be completed. I think we are almost done so yes you can see now you are using pip portion okay so that suggests the command for uh, information for us that pip latest version is there okay but that's not a problem for us but for us the ansible installation is uh, successful okay so let's uh, clear out the screen let's see uh, the ansible version Now, if you see, like we can see the Ansible version, uh, we are getting the complete details, right? So previously, when we run the Ansible version, we were not able to get any uh, information like this. So that means Ansible is installed now. Now, let me do one thing before I proceed further. Let me go to the Ubuntu machine and let's try to install uh, Ansible on an Ubuntu machine. Okay, now let's try to install uh, Ansible on an Ubuntu machine. So again, here we can do the installation using uh, pip install Ansible. We can also use uh, apt-get install. So let's try to do the installation of uh, using apt-get install Ansible. So let's wait for the installation to be completed. Okay. Okay, I think uh, we are almost we are done. So let me see Ansible version. So we can see the Ansible version, it's listed here as uh, 2.5.1, right? And the config file is located an, under etc slash Ansible, right? So let's go to that folder slash etc slash Ansible. And if you see, we have two files. One is called ansible.config and another one is host file. So these two are one of, two, one of the main config file in Ansible. So specifically, if you say uh, host, if I read through it, you will be able to see, you know, it it's give a lot of information. It says we can group host, you know, into different uh, categories. So this host file is something which we will use a lot in uh, uh, Ansible because we have to define our host in, in some stanza here. Like for example, we have can give like web servers, we can give the IP address of your host here. And uh, with using this host file, we can write a lot of uh, playbook so we can uh, run some configuration to that set of uh, host. So if you want to have two different kind of host, uh, set of host, you create one uh, schema as web server and the one as, you know, Windows servers and you put those IP address or the server details under those set. So you can use those into your uh, configuration. So let me clear out and uh, let's read the ansible.conf uh, file. So you can see this one is also uh, one of the key file in Ansible. So it gives a lot of information for you. So 
so we are not going to edit anything at this point but you can go through this uh, what all uh, parameters it covers so basically it covers a lot of information like what is the normal uh, location for your plugins you know cache plugins and even there are a lot of uh, configuration for your uh, timeout to ssh you know and uh, uh, let me show you a few other like you know if you see where where the inventory files like host files should be like if you want to change it you can change it here what are the module utilities you know the temp file it, it's it's even talks about where the ansible log file should be there so all those things uh, is uh, set over here okay so let me go back to the sendos machine if I go back to the CentOS machine, let's go to the same location like etc slash Ansible. We are able to see the same ansible.conf host and there is one more folder called roles. Okay, so that is for your user roles. We'll see more about in the upcoming tutorial. Let me read the ansible.conf here as well. Now, if you see the complete detail of this file, so you can define your inventory location like the host where you'll be mapping your uh, which uh, inventory or which servers you need to connect. You know, you can define your library location. You can define your utilities. You know, you can define all this information over here. And you know, you have more uh, more contents to be done as well. Like uh, what kind of uh, roles? You know, you can map the role path here, right? You can see the log path if you want. You can edit the log path uh, for Ansible. Okay, and uh, the SSH timeout duration you have set. Okay, so there are a lot of configuration which you can do it here in this uh, config file. So uh, let's don't edit anything at this point. Okay, we don't need to make any edit. So let's clear out the screen and uh, it's going to be the same what we saw about a uh, host in the uh, Ubuntu machine. Okay, so it's same here. We just need to set up some uh, configurations when you are connecting the Ansible using uh, the host uh, file. So to summarize, uh, we have seen how to set up Ansible uh, using yum install or pip install and apt-get install in Ubuntu. So any method you can use to install uh, in your CentOS or Ubuntu machine and uh, we also seen what are the normal configuration file in under slash etc slash ansible which we will use it for in the upcoming tutorials okay so i hope this in tutorial is informative for you thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment